Hello, my fellow light workers. Hello, girls. Happy weekend whenever you're seeing this. My name is Jennifer Cupcho. My friends call me Jen. So if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to my dog. I swear every time I go anywhere but like my office, they, they have to be around me. So you'll hear pitter patter and a little drinking water. I'm jumping in for a little bit more than a miracle mindset in a minute, but a mindset reset, let's say, however many minutes it takes that this will record. And I'm specifically jumping in because of Mother's Day. And here's why. Those of you who have my second deck of cards, which is Evolve, Emerge, Expand, there's a card in there about being true, not good. And I want to be your permission slip today if you're struggling at all today, tomorrow, whichever day you're watching this. I think I'm gonna put it out on Saturday when I'm making it, uh, in case you guys are taking a, um, a hi hiatus off of Facebook, which I totally understand. I need that too. Here's the thing. I'm speaking to all of you, because at first I'm like, am I speaking to mothers only? No, I'm speaking to anyone who's ever had a mother. So who is a mother or who has had a mother? We have been indoctrinated to be good girls. Good. Make sure that everyone feels good which is also a way of narcissism because we try to control their feelings so that we feel good if they're happy, okay? Anyone who is a mom knows that this comes along with being kids, uh, our kids, you know, what they say, you're as happy as your happiest child. Um, but we do that with everyone, don't we? And I don't wanna put that as a blanket statement because many of us have, are in the process of working and releasing that. But the permission slip that I wanna give you is that Mother's Day is not always the happiest day of the year for many people who have had a difficult childhood with their own mother, who maybe are having a difficult time with their own children. And it can cause a lot of animation, let's call that. I don't like the word trigger. I'm gonna call it animation, stirring up, right? And if it does, my permission slip to you is to remind you that you can celebrate your day any goddamn way you choose. Maybe that's not going to brunch. Maybe that's staying quiet for the day. Maybe that's hunkering in. And don't be fooled by saying it's feeling sorry for yourself. Maybe it's just feeling sad. Sometimes we forget that that's okay. And we forget that to give ourselves permission to feel those feelings, right? So we tend to be like, oh, I won't do this. I'm going to get back to my, my great state. Well, that great state's not going anywhere and you get to choose how long you're staying, but maybe it's a whole day. Maybe it is. And maybe you're celebrating and you're having a beautiful day. Maybe you're grieving over your mother who's no longer here and you wish that her body was still present. Or maybe you're grieving over a mother who's going through dementia or an, an Alzheimer's and you have her physical body, but you're missing the other piece, the spirit piece, right? Whatever it is, it's your day meaning the mother of or the daughter of, and you get to choose any way that you want to celebrate. And if it's quiet, because that's what's good for your soul, then let it be good for your soul. It doesn't mean you don't thank your children and give them big hugs if they make you their beautiful posters with flowers or their ger geranium plants and all the things, right? But I think the best mothers that we can be are those who model being true not good. And being true is going to be the most loving thing you can be. You're going to hug those kiddos even harder and you're going to maybe grieve a little harder and then you're going to love a whole lot more. So happy Mother's Day to all of us who are celebrating mothers who were once here, who are mothers to creation and innovation and new and exciting plans and light that we bring to the world. It's not always about birthing a child. So happy Mother's Day to us all. Love you dearly.